what's going on youtube we are back again with another video as promised guys i am going to show you the pc settings instead of the controller settings the controller settings is out already if you guys want to check that out you can either wait until the end of this video and watch it on the uh, end screen or you can just go ahead and click it now if you're on uh, controller so we're going to go ahead and break down the pc settings it does have more to it than the controller settings it also deals with fps and graphics so i will do my best to balance that out for everybody depending on what laptop or pc you are using so let's go ahead and dive right in all right so this time i'm going to make it short and sweet but just like the controller settings video i will put some gameplay so you guys can see the quality and performance on the bottom right of the screen as i break down the settings so don't get too distracted with the gameplay but try to focus on the settings because that's what this video is about so i want to go ahead and break down the first part of the controls we're going to go with action mode okay if you guys want to know particularly the reason why we're going with certain things leave it in the comments below and i will gladly answer it for you guys so i'm just going to make this quick and easy for everybody to understand just go ahead and mimic the controls and i promise you you'll be just fine all right so instead of classic you want to go with action mode for this one i'll explain it real quick it's due to the fact that what classic mode is when you click the cursor you actually have to drag it left and right to to look left and right instead with the action mode you can just move your cursor left and right and it'll automatically move your uh, direction of your character left and right so that's so for the move uh, category make sure you select auto move and prevent falling now prevent falling like i said before it is up to you personally i recommend doing prevent falling so you don't kill yourself right so that's just some a precaution to make if you want to go ahead and do that now for the action make sure you have selected q skills and then auto move within range and also auto use non-targeted beneficial skills make sure that's checked okay so we're going to also to toggle charge skills everything else make sure that's unchecked display lock on controls make sure that's checked as well okay next up is the character this is kind of one of the most important settings so let's go ahead and break this down so we got large scale make sure that's on auto use make sure character name and astral vision is checked as well then we're going to make sure this says show all so basically check all these okay then after that we're going to go ahead and talk about the user settings for character name make sure this is on user settings okay now relations especially this is, has to be changed this was default i think it was relations uh but relationships or something like that but we want to go ahead and change that to guild mark okay so make sure this is on change this to guild mark and turn off names we don't really care about that but for the health bars obviously you want to keep that on so you can see your enemy's health bar and also your health bars so that on all right friendly players make sure that's on relationship mark is the one this is basically default keep that as default then you can turn off name again and then you can turn off health as well we don't really care about that for your friends i mean if you're like in a party or whatever they would just let you know like hey i'm about to die but heal me but blah, blah, blah all right so then we got um unless you're a healer then obviously you want to turn this on but if you're not a healer then keep that off uh miscellaneous characters we don't care about them just turn that off NPCs, we don't care about them just turn that off when you talk to an NPC, you will still see the name of the NPC, and you can still see what's going on too many health bars and too many distractions is, is a huge problem when it comes to uh mass clans and mass guild battles it's just so much going on you definitely don't want to ruin your fps and your quality of your game okay so then we're gonna go with show my info make sure show my nameplate is on and also make sure show my detailed health and mana information is on as well reveal my equipped weapons make sure that's on show name and item make sure that's on as well and then show my summoned uh pet make sure that's on as well okay you don't really want to see others pet. now that's up to you but once again like i said before when it comes to pc and going higher on the fps you kind of want to limit your uh your view of things okay so we make sure to turn that off if you want good quality okay next up we got target selection now this is mainly for the pvp side so those who are like pve you don't really have to worry about it but it does benefit you in pve as well so let's go ahead and just break it down and i highly recommend just using it because i know for a fact when you get to that end game and you're saying oh i'm bored i can't do anything i have nothing else to do it's because you're only sticking to pve please dive into pvp okay so let's go ahead and break it down all right so priority one attacking players make sure that's checked make sure this says search by order of priority and then we're going to go hostile guild make sure that's checked feud players make sure that's checked hostile players make sure that's checked everything else do not check okay moving down we're going to go with auto target nearest enemy make sure that's checked and then once again we're going with search of pri order of priority as well and then I, it's the same exact uh settings as before attacking players make sure that's checked hostile guild feud and hostile players make sure those are checked and that is it for that section 
Okay, next up on the list is the item. So this is auto acquisition. Make sure all is checked and then basically we'll check everything. So everything should be checked here. Then we're going with equipment auto dissolve. Make sure that's off. You don't want to even worry about that. So just make sure that's off. All right, so that's it for that. Uh, for the camera, we're gonna rotate the camera at 150. I'm gonna keep that the way it is. Personally, it depends on your sensitivity, how, you, how long you've been on PC and stuff like that. I've been on PC for a couple of months. So I'm still kind of fresh to everything and still like tripping up on some buttons, but I'll figure it out. So make sure camera smoothing and camera smoothing on object collision is off. I explained this in my controller settings video, but like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll gladly explain it for you again. Uh, make sure these are off. You don't really have to worry about that. Now the shaking effects depends on your preference. I personally like keeping it on because I like to feel like I'm in the game. So that's just my preference, uh, but that's up to you guys. All right, so everything else has to be unchecked. Now for content, I did not touch anything here. Everything should be default, um, but this also depends on what you want to do. But everything here is default, so I'm not gonna break that down. Same thing with the chat as well. This just depends on how close you are to your, you know, monitor or whatever, or your blindness. So that's just <laughs> all that depends on you, okay? Uh, the UI, now this will be adjusted based off of your preference. Now, if you're a PVP player, obviously you're gonna have to change up your UI so you can see certain things like the way you want to. Uh, for PVE, it really doesn't matter, uh, but mainly this is a section for PVP players, right? Now, language and time, that doesn't matter because you when you start the game up, you're gonna end up deciding what language you want and subtitles and all that stuff. So this was the settings that was already done once you started the game. Now, notifications, I put the sound one, that's up to you. Uh, notification interval, 30 seconds, that's default. This is checked on as well, that's default. Rest is also default. Everything else here, inventory, community, content, that's also default. Now, here is the main thing that everybody wants to know about, especially when it comes to PC. Now, I personally like to go with borderless. Uh, full screen is also another option to people. Uh, I like to personally go with borderless because I use two uh, monitors and I'm a content creator, so I gotta bounce back and forth between screens, okay? It's just a lot easier for me to do that. Now, I'm using a 1920 by 1080 monitor, so it's not 4K, uh, so I'm basically sitting at 1080p, 60 FPS. So that's just my resolution, as you guys can see. I highly recommend for the frame rate limit to do no limit. This way it can bounce and fluctuate when it comes to certain content. You don't want to keep it stuck at 60 FPS or 120 FPS because if you end up going lower than that, then it's going to mess up your screen. So you want to give that fluctuation of FPS and frame rate. So you want to go ahead and do no limit. Now apply HDR depends on how strong your monitor or your PC is or your laptop or PC is. Um, so I highly recommend turning that off so you can avoid any problems but if you have a really strong pc then you can play with your hdr okay uh vertical vertical sync i keep that on uh so i basically for this one i personally go with quality now it's up to you you can go with quality or you can go with ultra performance if you really want like smooth and fps and higher fps but i like to go with quality because obviously i'm a content creator so i want to make sure my videos have decent quality okay so since i use a nvidia rtx uh, 3050 laptop uh, i personally want to stick with nvidia so if you have an amd card or like an intel if you're using windows graphics card then you can mess with these settings here okay uh quality now the quality highly start i highly recommend going with auto settings click on auto settings first okay you want to see what your pc can do with this game okay so you don't want to change this up too much now you can mess around with certain settings like you can probably go from low to medium every now and then and just see how far you can push your pc without nothing lagging in like really intense battles and then if it does lag then you just need to go ahead and just stick with auto settings and leave everything low uh personally a lot of people will tell you to leave everything low anyway just like i said because of these massive battles um but my auto settings allows my shadow quality to be at medium and my texture to be at medium i can change these to low uh, but i'm gonna just leave like i said the auto settings the way it should be right so this goes to the auto settings and it just keeps these at auto so i'll leave it right and my pc ends up being really good and i have a high fps of uh, over 100 right so these are all low as well just let your like i said before let your pc decide and you can change this up accordingly okay 